Well, Winnipeg has been looking a lot more colorful these days, and I'm not just talking about the leaves changing color. The month-long wall-to-wall mural and cultural festival is well underway, and mural artists have been hard at work leaving their mark on our city's walls. For more, we've reached Chloe Chafe and Andrew Eastman, the festival's co-directors. Thank you for making time for us today. Hello, thanks for having us. So first of all, maybe just tell me what the wall-to-wall -wall festival looks like this year so far. Absolutely. So uh, we are running all September, so we're well underway. Uh, we just finished a few events like our drag brunch at the Tallest Poppy, um, and our mentorship is really underway at Studio 393. Uh, and now we are painting murals, and we have three more huge events on the way. So Andrew, what is happening uh, this week for the festival? So we have a couple murals underway. Um, we're really excited to be back painting some pretty big, exciting murals across Winnipeg. Um, we're painting one currently at the back of 474 Main Street, right in the heart of the exchange. Um, it's a pretty iconic wall. It has the old ghost sign of Burt Saddlery mural at Burt Saddlery Co. on it. And we are preserving that sign and then accentuating it on the top and bottom with sort of study of that sign itself. Uh, the artist is Joseph Pilipil of the Traveling Sign Painters. Uh, so that's going to be a really nice pop of color right in the exchange there. Um, and we just wrapped up some uh, a piece over in West Broadway as well at Chips Vintage by Hannah Reimer uh, just this last weekend. And we're just gearing up after this rain clears out, hopefully to get a few more started uh, next week. We're looking at some of the images of the one at Chips Vintage right now. How much work goes into putting something like this together? Yeah, so as far as murals go, uh, it's a pretty lengthy process. Uh, it's lots of consultation with the building owner, with the community, finding funding, um, and then pairing a contemporary artist with this building. Uh, once that starts, it's a lot of prepping the wall, um, doing video projections, and then uh, painting, painting, painting. <laughs> <laughs> How do you scout where these murals are going to be put up? Yeah, we work closely um, with a lot of the biz organizations across Winnipeg, um, as well as lots of uh, community organizations. Um, and we partner with them to disperse their funds amongst their different uh, biz members or partners. Um, so we want to often work with the businesses themselves to find uh, mural artists that will work to celebrate what they're doing their best with their business. Um, so it's a lot of that and then a lot of also working with community organizations. Um, graffiti Art Programming is one of our main collaborators on the festival. We also work with organizations like Urban Shaman Gallery and Mama Way and End Homelessness. And they often have projects in mind that they want to execute and we are able to uh, facilitate those for them and integrate them into the festival. How would you like to see this festival grow in the coming years? It's a tough question, but I think we really want to continue um, really leaving a legacy of uh, skill skill sharing between artists so that there's lots of new emerging artists that are able to have the skills to create murals and events. Um, so we're really, really um, proud that the fact that we've been able to offer workshops and mentorships um, in the nine years that we've been doing this. So I think it's really that it's giving artists and the community the capacity to be able to produce public art um, for years to come. One last question for you guys. Uh, if people want to find some more information on this, where can they go? Yeah, you can visit our website, uh, waltwallwpg.com. Um, there's a list of all the artists, all the curators, all the partners, as well as a really cool interactive mural map there that shows the murals that we've created over the last nine years of our festival. Uh, so lots of information there. And you can follow us at uh, on Instagram and social media at waltwallwpg. Anywhere else? That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Chloe Chafe, Andrew Eastman, co-directors of the Wall to Wall Mural and Cultural Festival. Thank you for sharing some information with us tonight. Thank you Thank so much. You.